Guys, it is cold outside. And it got me thinking, what would you do if you had a Ford Lightning and you were stuck in a snowstorm? Will it last? How long will the battery last for? Can you sit there with the heater on for a long time? So I am in Monument, Colorado, and I had to pull over. I was on my way to Denver, and I had to pull over because there was a lot of traffic. And so it got me thinking, what if you're stuck in a snowstorm? It's 20 degrees outside. Now, some of you may not think, hey, that's not very cold. You know, I'm from Michigan or something like that. <laughs> that's warm here. You know, that's summer weather. Well, anyways, it's cold here in Colorado. It's about 20 degrees. It's supposed to get even colder. So I just wanted to do this just for you. I'm going to sit in my truck. We're going to do a little test and see how long would a truck last? So we parked here in a parking lot and we're going to just see how long the battery lasts, how much the percentage goes down. I'm going to have the heater on and everything like that. So let's do this. I'm excited about it. It is, uh, you know, going to take advantage of an opportunity of kind of being stuck on the highway and just showing you guys how long would a, would, would the truck battery last? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm excited about this because I have no idea. So we're starting the test and it is 19 degrees outside. So 154 and I have it set on 80 degrees. I got the seat heaters on on both sides. I have it set on auto number two. It's getting a little warm in here, so we'll just turn it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll set it on auto and then we got the rear defroster on and like i said it's 19 degrees and it is 48 percent on the battery using the wi-fi in the truck while i'm at it so that uses up a little bit more on the battery so we'll see how this goes Woohoo! here's something that pops up after a little bit it'll give you about 30 seconds and it'll tell you vehicle shut off so make sure that you click ok to override that all right guys here we are at the one hour mark and we're gonna see how we're doing here all right so just about a minute over an hour there we're still at 19 degrees actually i had to turn it down to 77 because i was so hot 80 was really hot anyways still got the seat heaters on and still got it on auto still sitting here and we are now at 46 percent and again it's still 19 degrees and something else i wanted to show you the temperature uh, on the battery is still at normal but i wanted to point this out to you if you remember as you're driving this shows you how much regenerative braking and this shows you how much energy you're using well the truck is telling me i'm only going to have 95 percent of the energy usage at one time because of the temperature outside so I just thought that was an interesting thing to point out. This is hour number two. My daughter call, <laughs> called me earlier and she's like, uh, but I was telling her what I was doing and she's like, daddy, but how are you gonna get home if the battery runs out? I was like, I'll be okay, sweetie, because I'm just like, I'm just gonna leave. If it hits 20% or something like that, I'm gonna go find a charger because this is just for a test. But uh anyways i thought that was really sweet of her uh to think about me and she was really concerned for me which a lot of people might be really concerned about the truck being stuck in a cold weather situation on a highway so anyways hour number two and let me show you what we are at right now it is 356 so just a couple minutes after the hour uh the second hour mark still 19 degrees and i have it still at 77 degrees on auto with both seat heaters on as well and coming over here we are at only 45 percent starting out at 48 percent now at 45 percent in 19 degrees and let's look and see what we got going on here the batteries are at normal still right in the middle right in the middle the battery is and then but this is saying our acceleration is now only uh is now limited to only 90 percent 
earlier it was a 95. All this is right here is basically just telling you again, most people may wonder, hey, what is that? Why is it only saying 90 instead of 100? Well, what I understand about it is as it gets colder, your battery will limit the acceleration amount uh, that it allows. And so this is just the acceleration. This is not battery capacity, anything like that. That's just the acceleration. And it only allows a certain amount whenever it's colder. All right, we have now done three hours. That's three hours testing out what it's like to be stuck in like a snowstorm so you can't go anywhere. So let's see what where we are with everything. And we are at 43% and still we are at 19 degrees and the temperature on the battery if you look at the one right there on the left, it is saying that it is a little bit cold. So a little bit below normal, which is, so if you, that's like right there. So that's the reason why it's saying 90%. And it is now 457. So a little bit after uh, the three hour mark and still in working using the Wi-Fi. 77 degrees set in here and uh, seat heaters on. I think this has been a pretty good test. It's starting to get a little dark now. And I just wanted to let you know, I'm like really, really excited. 43% from 48%. So I didn't uh, tell you guys this in the beginning, but I wanted to tell you, that's why I wanted to do the test at this range that way it didn't seem like, hey, you know, you're starting in a really high range, so maybe the battery acts better. No, this is about average of what you would be like if you're out in a snowstorm. You're going to be around 50, 60 percent probably on the battery. And so I started out at 48 percent and only used 5 percent of the battery to sit here for three hours and use the heater and everything. I'm actually really glad that it didn't go lower than that. Uh, so that shows me that if I use only 5% of the battery, that means I could use, I would only use half of the battery if I was sitting in a snowstorm using the heater the entire time for like 30 hours. So you could sit and doing the same under the same conditions as me 19 degrees and you could use the heater and for 30 hours and only use 50 percent of the battery i think that's pretty good um i haven't done one of these kinds of tests with the gas vehicle yet so i don't know how that compares but for me i think that's pretty good seriously like i would be happy to be stuck in the Ford Lightning as opposed to another vehicle. Man, I got like Wi-Fi in here. I'm, I'm having a good time. And, you know, I hope this helped you guys. I think uh, I think it was very beneficial to do this. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. And let me know if you've had any similar experiences to the battery not really going down that much if you're sitting and not driving. So see you next time.